Hey, Nancy. This mean you got them cans stacked? You bet. They look just like the picture you gave me, which you can have back. Here's your batteries, and thanks, Nancy. to try to explore this in the dark. Uh-oh. So this is the speakeasy. Wow. If map is correct, the tree where Vitus would bark at the hawks used to be right about here. Ah, he's so cute! So Lucy would swim out to the shipwreck, which is about here. dark. Those must be the spigots William Akers mentioned in his journal. Yeah. <laughs> 
Xander play by the pump, which is right here. That doesn't sound good. So you're the ghost dogs. You look pretty real to me. Dogs have been trained to act vicious on command. That's the speaker I saw in the house. I bet the dogs attacked Sally's house because the high frequency signal was transmitted to them through the speaker I saw on the roof. It's some kind of lock. It's locked. It's locked. These colors look very familiar.
600 pounds of gold bullion. Wow. Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? There's plenty of gold here we can share. Open the door! Nancy, wait! Let's talk about this. This can just be our little secret. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, remember? Nancy! The gold's all yours, Em. Enjoy it while you can. Dear Ned, as soon as I got out of the tunnels, Emily had left a door open. I called the sheriff, but when I led him back down the well to the room where I'd left Emily, she refused to leave. He and his deputies finally got her out, but one of them said afterward that if he had to choose between getting a bear away from her cub and getting Emily away from that gold, he'd pick the bear. What's worse, by the time they took Emily away, the place was swarming with reporters from all over the country. The commotion has scared away every bird for miles. I'm pretty sure Red Knot would like to strangle me. On the other hand, when Ranger Akers found out that seven cars and two helicopters were illegally parked on park property and that he was going to get to ticket them, he was ecstatic. Tucker Dave has finally cleared away that dead tree, which means I'm free to drive home. Moon Lake is beautiful, but I've had enough wildlife for now. Which reminds me, did I mention that those four ghost dogs are actually very sweet? They're so sweet, in fact, that Sally is seriously thinking about adopting them. How's that for irony? Ever yours, Nancy. Bess, hi, it's Nancy. I'm at this little amusement park on the coast. I wish I could say I was having a wonderful time, but the fact is, some pretty spooky things have been happening here. There have been some strange accidents, and the carousel, it starts up in the dead of night all by itself, like it's haunted or something. You know me, I don't get scared very easily, but I saw it myself, and... I'll call you later. I've gotta go. I've gotta go right now.